Hey y'all, this is Dana. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm back today with craft fair idea number 37. And what we're going to do is we're going to embellish some clipboards. Now, these particular clipboards, I bought these two last year or like at the toward the end of last year. And I embellished these for my craft fair. And what I did is I put them in cellophane wrap and I attached a pad of paper with them. And this particular size right here, I sold it for $7. I had a larger size, I sold for nine. And then the smaller ones, I sold for five. I was gonna do them cheaper than that. And my daughter came over and says, Mom, you're shortchanging yourself. And so I'm like, okay. So I went up and this is the only two I had left. So they did sell. Now, the neat thing about these particular clipboards is if you see the front where the little screws are, they have screws on the back. I got them at Tuesday morning. Now, lucky me, I can't find any, and so the only clipboards I could find are these kind right here, and they have little rivets in them, Now, and you can't unscrew it. So I told my husband, I said, what in the world? How do I get that off so I could just cover it with paper and then put it back on? He said, if I try to cover this, he said, then that will, um, he said it will break it. So he said, don't, he, you might not want to do that. So. I'm going to figure out how I can embellish this without removing that. So what I've done is I went ahead and I chose some paper that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this, this pink paper, this pink polka dotted. And if you've watched my channel for a while, I love pink. So anyway, I just love this color and it's just, uh, it's just fun. And a lot of little girls are going to like these little clipboards as well. So... So what I did is I cut them, I measured the clipboard and I just cut it down to the size of the clipboard. So it'd be six by nine. So I have one for the front and one for the back. So now, since I can't take this off, I wanna make sure I'm covering this up even down to these little parts right here. So I figure what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and I measured, just kind of put my paper over and I kind of measured where the little slit is right there, just so I can cover that. Because once I cover it and then put paper over this too, you're not really gonna be able to tell. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure I cover these little corners. And let me get my, my glue. I'm using some Mod Podge today. So I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge and I'm gonna Get enough glue on there. I wanna make sure that I'm just getting the glue up here, like where the little crease is right there, because I want it to all be covered. If you get it on the top, it's okay. It dries clear, y'all. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna do this one side at a time. So I've already pre-cut, I measured it and kind of pre-cut myself a little piece of paper just to stick right there so I can make sure that I have that part covered. If it sticks over a little bit, we can trim it. We just want to make sure we get this covered over here. I really, I looked for so I went to like several stores on my lunch break from work today and I could not find any clipboards that had screws. So I decided, well, when I found these small ones, I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover this side right here. Make sure you get enough glue you want this to stay on. I don't really think you're gonna have too much problems because it is gonna be under the paper. And I'm just gonna stick this right here because I want this to be covered as close as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So there we go. I've got that and this side I have it too long, so let me go ahead and use my scissors and I'm gonna I'm gonna trim these off. That way I just got those little corners covered. Okay. So I've got the top. There we go. See how easy that is? Now, what I did is I took the piece of paper that I had cut and I kind of slid it up underneath here and I kind of just kind of measured it as close as I could, kind of folded it under and then I just um, pushed it up as far as it'd go and then I just folded it and I folded my paper down and then I just cut it with my scissors. 
So that is how I got this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna adhere this to the clipboard as well. So let's grab our glue. Y'all, today in Texas was a hundred. Well, they say on the news it was 104. My car said 106. So I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up. What I did before when I was trying to utilize this thing or try to keep it up when I was decorating underneath, I put some zip ties to hold it. And I'm not going to do that this time just for the sake of the video. I'm just going to just do this, slip this under really fast. So I'm just going to slip it under up as fast far as you can see it already is it covered up the area okay and look and it covered up those corners and at least I don't have to worry about take um having to screw it so I guess that works out okay so I'm going to put some glue on the rest of this of the rest of the clipboard Yeah, it was 106. Oh lordy, y'all, it's so hot. My husband, he's a te he's an auto technician, and bless his heart, he comes home beat down from the sun. But you know, we love Texas because that's where our kids are, and our grandchildren. We can't live without them, so we stay here. And you know, in 1997, we actually moved to Hawaii, and when we got over there, we realized we hated it. Yes, y'all. We moved to Hawaii, and our my youngest daughter was in fifth grade, going into sixth, and she turned 12 while we were there, and when she turned 12, you know what her, bir her birthday present she wanted? She wanted a plane ticket home. Texas is home for us, so anyway, so we stayed one year because we realized it wasn't for us, and we came home. Okay, so I got my glue. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to get this smooth down. See, that covered up pretty good. I'm happy with that. Covered up pretty good. Now, I should have went ahead and used my corner rounder with these corners before I did this. But you know what? It's all good. I can just use my scissors. So, so the idea is just putting a base, base paper on here and then just embellishing the top. So, these are really fun, quick. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this, and yeah, so you'll be able to trim these up, and you'll be able to decorate these, put paper, add a little ribbon. Don't go overboard, because you remember it's craft fair, and you don't want to spend too much on your supplies. Okay, I'm just going to trim this up. Okay, so I got the front covered. Now let's do the back. Now we're going to be covering these. I'm really wondering how that's going to do, but I'm going to go with it and just see how it does. I think if I put enough glue, it's going to be okay. And I think I need to trim this just a little. So let me grab my paper trimmer. I'm just going to take off like a sliver. Not too much. I just took this much off. I want to make sure that this fits a little better and actually it's better than the front one okay so I like it so I'm gonna use my glue I'm gonna do it on the back this is covered up sticker price and all get any glue on the clipboard wipes off when you're done no worries. You guys will see how these are cute. They really sold. I'm, I was, I wondered, and when I saw these at Tuesday morning, I'd never seen anybody do this. I mean, you can see decorative clipboards already made that companies have made, but I've never seen anybody like sell them at a craft fair, and I did, and it's paid off for me. So, I'm just gonna get enough glue all the way over. And we're almost there. 
The nice thing about this Mod Podge glue, it gives you a little time if you have to move the paper around or anything like that. So it'll give you a little time to work. Okay. I got my paper. I'm going to get it centered up. Make sure it's centered up. And that's a good, that's good trim in there. I like it. Okay, so y'all get it pressed down really well. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this. See this glue? You can move things over a little bit if you need to. Okay. Okay, so I got my front and my back covered. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to round these corners as well. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Just going to take a little sliver off the bottom too. Just so it doesn't have too much hangover. Okay. So yesterday I chose my 500 subscriber winner, Melissa, very sweet lady, um, claimed her prize. So congratulations to Melissa. Now I'll be doing um, another giveaway when I hit 1000 when that day comes. So that will be exciting. So, okay, so I've got the front and the back of my clipboard covered. And now let's just try to see what we can do to decorate it up. Okay, so I want to go kind of with the black and pink theme. And I have some of these little paper flowers that I got at Tuesday morning. There's how many in this pack? I think like six. Anyway, got them for $1.49. I thought they were pretty cute. But we're going to need to put some paper behind. And I also picked up this little banner kit. And I thought, oh, that's cute little paper. So, you know, I'm probably not going to use it as a banner. But I liked the shape of the paper. And um, so, yeah. See? So, I'm going to see. I kind of like this one. What do y'all think, y'all? Y'all like that? Let me see if I can get this off first because I want to be able to utilize as much as I can of the piece of paper. Okay, so now I'll be able to bring these all the way up and just see which one I think is the best. Ooh, and I like this one too. So cute. Let me rip this one out. See how cute those are? So cute. But I'm gonna cut off, I'm gonna utilize this, but I wanna cut off where the holes are. So, but I also wanna put another piece of paper underneath. So let me dig through my scraps here and see what I can find. Or, let's see. Let's see if I can go with something a little different. I'm over here looking, y'all. Oh, okay, I got, I like this. Okay, here I come. What about this? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it. Let me just use my paper trimmer. And when I do these, I really don't even have a plan. I just do it, you know, so I do it and pray I like it and it'll work out. I'm not too worried. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down, and I'm going to cut it probably so it'll be like a strip going across, maybe about four inches, maybe three. I'll do four, and if I can cut it down, if I need to cut it down, I will. Okay, so we'll see how that will look. Now, it might not look good at all after I've tried it. I might need a solid. I might be too daring with the polka dot on polka dot. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do? I like that after all. But I am just going to fold it so I know where to cut it. So 
Do when you're embellishing these police clipboards, you just have to decide as you're going what you want it to kind of look like. Don't be afraid to add prints on prints. Don't be afraid of that. Just uh, go for it and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna add this across. I'm gonna glue it across. It was a lot easier not having to take off this little thing and then put it back on, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to use some glue and I'm just going to center it about down here. So let me grab my Mod Podge. I'm just going to put glue all over the back. And getting it all over my hands. I have uh, finished making, oh, I take that back. I have two more sets. That means I have eight more of my decorative envelopes in the eight and a half inch size to finish. And then I will finished all my envelopes. And when I'm done with them, then I'll pop on some time and I'll show y'all how I package them. Okay, so got some black going on. I like that. Now I'm gonna see if I can just get a solid piece of black to go across. Let me cut that. Remember I told you the other day, if you watched my last couple videos, that this is the only part right here is kind of decent in my room? Still the same way. Oh my God, I need to clean. I need to clean, but then whenever I I come in here, I don't clean. I just start working some more. And so, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then kind of fold it down. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. Okay. And cut this off. And I'm just gonna layer this and I need I'm gonna trim a little bit just a sliver off the side there I'm gonna put it like this okay okay Get some glue on the back of my paper you don't have to use this Mod Podge for this part if you don't want to, but I'm just using it because I had it out and I might as well use it, so. Okay. I'm just gonna lay this over, kind of center it. Okay, see if I can get some of the glue off. I don't wanna ruin my paper. So press it down. What do you think? See, don't be afraid to use polka dots with polka dots. Don't be afraid. Just go with it. It's okay. So I've got a little bit hanging over, so I'm going to trim it just a little bit. I might have to lift it up and trim it just a tad. Okay. Okay, so I got that. Now I gotta figure out how I want to utilize this. I think I'm gonna do it like this, but let me cut off where the little holes are. Cut off this. And I like that, that's very cute. You can put it all the way over leave a little bit on the side. I'm just gonna leave a little bit on the side. And I think for this one, I'll just grab my art glitter glue. Maybe. Let's see if I can get that. Okay. I got my glue. Okay, you want to make sure you get enough glue 
and just pop it down. Wipe off the excess if you need to. It's looking cute already, y'all. Remember how bland and boring? From cute to, from ugly to cute. Okay. So I like that. That's pretty cute. Now I'm gonna I wanna utilize the black flower on here, but I'm thinking I might need a scallop punch. Just a little circle, so let me see. I think in this book I've got I saw a wider piece, and let's see if I can use this. Hopefully this is not gonna be too big. I think it will be good. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the back of the scallop. And I'm gonna get this down, kind of center it. Then again, do the way you want. It's your project. I always kind of think, you know, what would I like? And I pray that other people would like my style and so yeah, okay, so I've got that. It doesn't have to be straight because it's gonna have a flower over it. I'm gonna put the flower, kind of center it on top. I really like that. So now let me get a little thing for the center. And I need my little tiny punch. So I got my one inch here. And um, yeah, let me punch myself a little in one inch. Let me see how that is. I might have to go a little smaller. Let me go a little smaller. Let me see if I can find my other punch. Maybe. Okay, hold on y'all, don't leave me. I gotta find my other punch. Okay, this this small, so this one will probably work. Let's see how this one will do. If not, we'll use a sequin. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Maybe the big one might even have been better. Okay, let me grab it back. I think I'll just try it. I want it to be covered. Is that a one inch? It is. Let me figure out what I did with my five eighths inch. That's really what I really should have did. Let me find my five eighths. Don't leave me all. Let me find my five eighths. We're gonna find it and it's gonna be good. Got a nice sequin, or let me see what I've got in here. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I did not mean to bump that. Let me see what I've got in here. That would be a key. Oh, yes, here we go. It was meant to be. Put a generous amount of glue in here. Let me wipe the glue off there. And I'm just going to stick this one down in here. Look at that. Okay. Don't worry about the glue that's under there. It is gonna dry clear. So don't worry about that. Let's see if I can use a little paper and kind of wipe some off. Yeah, this is so cute, y'all. I really do like this. I hope y'all like this too, and I hope you're gonna give this project a try. And see, the nice thing is, even though these are raised, you're gonna put a paper pad on the top. So, you know, that's the neat thing about this. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? So on the back, you can choose if you want to embellish it or not. I'm not gonna. I don't think it needs it. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna just do the front. Um, if I have any kind of words I could put over there, let me see if I have anything else I might wanna add. 
You can put some washi if you wouldn't like. Let me see what kind of washi I have. See what I got in here. So much washi. Oh, y'all. Um, I was looking on Amazon yesterday, and let me tell you, I saw washi 55 rolls for nine bucks. I'll have to see it and I'll share the link. But yeah, okay. I didn't find any words, but I'm wondering. No, I think I'm just gonna leave it if you want to add some little embellishments or something like that a saying or something like that then that's where you would add it in i'm looking to see if i can find something really fast let me look at my tag stack and see if i have something that would work yeah i think i do okay Hold on with me, y'all. Don't leave me. We're going to have this finished in no time at all. And let's see. I'm going to see if I can just find something. Try to be quicker than this. Oh, okay. This will work. Okay. So I have this tag book. Got it at Joanne Fabrics. And I'm wondering if I could, yeah, I could use this too. That is actually why I bought it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it over here like this and I'm going to trim that off. So let's just do that really fast and actually let's, let me trim it first. Okay, I hope you all have hung in here with me. We're rolling toward the end. I just wanted you to see how I embellish these clipboards. And uh, yeah, they really do turn out cute. I'm just gonna put this over here like this. You can layer up this. You could have put this underneath. I kind of like it that way. What do y'all think, y'all? That's really cute. I like that a lot. Okay, so I think that that really, uh, that really helped it. Now, what I will do here is I will add probably like a black ribbon. Now how I added some ribbon here, that's what I will do up here. So, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea on how to do this. And uh, yeah, I think that that's really cute. That's really cute. And the nice thing is, is you can have a decorative clipboard and you can even go the extra mile, cover the top. And that way, and then whenever you're selling these, you're going to put them down in a nice bag, but put the paper on the back so they can see what the design is on the front. So put the paper on the back and to add that top little embellishment paper up there would really give an extra, extra little step there. So anyway, okay, well, I am done rambling on y'all. I hope that y'all like this idea. I hope you'll give it a try. And yeah, hey, um, give it a try because it really is fun. It's easy and it's really pretty. And I promise you they will sell. Um, they have mine sold. I had no problem selling them. And like I said, this size, probably going to go about um, $7 for this size. The smaller, if I did a smaller one, be, it'd be 5 and the larger one would be 9 they do sell. So um, anyway, well, I hope y'all like this and I hope you give it a try. Oh, and by the way, before I, before I get off here, y'all, I saw my Target today and I wanted to let you know if you like the Target, uh, the dollar spot um, adhesive pockets, they have them back in stock. The $3 a pack, so grab them up. They even have this one right here. And they're long rectangles and I got these. I've never gotten them before and I thought, I'll figure out how to, what to do with those. So I got one pack of those. But anyway, now's the time to stock up on your little uh, sticky pockets. So anyway, okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna get off the, I'm gonna get off tonight, y'all. And I hope that you like this project and I hope you give it a try. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye y'all.